One common normal event that really draws people's attention to it and causes worry with folks who have thinning hair is the fact that we shed hair every day. We're supposed to shed hair. How many hairs, you might ask? Well, reading the textbooks is like 100 hairs a day, you know, and depending who you read, anywhere from 50 to even more than 100. But using the number of 100 hairs a day, when you, whether you brush your hair or look in the drain in the shower or look at your, the shoulders of your clothing during the day, you're going to gradually lose hair. Question is, does that make you go bald? If I lose 100 hairs a day, well, it's only a matter of time before I lose my hair. The good news is you are supposed to lose your hair. It's part of, from a shedding standpoint, it's part of this turnover of the hair that leads to a growth phase, a resting phase, the hair falls out, and a new growth phase. So somewhere around one in 10 hairs on our head is in the resting phase. 90%, nine out of 10 are in the growing phase, one in 10 is in the resting phase, which will shed. That leads to your 100 hairs a day, and then a new hair will grow back in. The bad news is if you have hair loss, if you have a genetic tendency for hair loss, and here we're restricting our comments to male and female pattern hair loss, what's known as androgenetic alopecia. If you have that type of condition, we know that when new hairs come in, they're smaller, and less thick, less cosmetically useful. They don't cover your scalp as well. So that miniaturization process in subsequent cycles of the uh, hair growth cycle leads to baldness or visible hair loss. So yes, you're supposed to shed hair. Yes, that hair comes back. But if you have a hair loss condition like male pattern or female pattern hair loss, the succeeding cycles uh, do not give you the same density, volume, or scalp coverage that you had earlier.